not Misha, not some Rashus of Ahotzi. A person who was Mavatal Rashus of the Chatzar, and then he went ahead and used it anyways. Ben Bishogi, Ben Bemezid, Oyser. So he, Rameir holds that he retracts by using it after he was Mavatal Rashus, he retracts the bit. Dear Rabbi, Arm of Yosef, Ema Ena Oser. You have to say he does not prohibit. Abaya Amar, because we have a low kasha. Depends. Kanshech Ziku Bnei Mavi B'Mavu. If the people of the Bnei Mavi started using the Chatzar already, then if they use it first, he can't Aser. Kanshelov Ziku Bnei Mavi B'Mavu. Then if he uses it first, he can restrict. Frank the Gemara, he should be able to restrict no matter what. Matanya, actually, nice on Rishuso. That means he, he before he, he was Mavatel, his Rishus, Hotzi, he took, he used the Chatz, or Baby Shaggy Baby Moizid, Yach, He can then afterwards be Mavatel, afterwards. Rav Yudah Oimer b'shogeg yachol levatel, but b'meizid ena yachol levatel, because if he if he b'farhes he went against chachamim. A mechalal Shabbos is like a non a non Jew; he can't be mavatel as rishus. But misha nosan rishus. So now let's say the person already had been mavatel as rishus, vahotzi, and then he tries to use the chutzur ben b'shogeg ben b'meizid oyster the rabbi. Ramer holds it's like going back on his bitl rishus. From you know Oimer, if he did it with Mezid, yes, Oiser. It shows that he wanted to retract it. But if he does it Bishogeg, he doesn't. And it only asers according to Rabbi Yehuda if the other people of Nebavi have not used it. He cannot retract it anymore once it's been used. Omar Ma. Rav Yud Omer Beloshna Cheres. Rav Yud said, Ma Ruva Sutzor Chayam B'Mavli. He said, Do your th- do your needs in the Mavli. Ad Shalai Techshach before Shabbos. V'Yesra Lechem, because otherwise he will answer by using it. Al Ma, Noch must be he's a non-Jew, or he's treated like a non-Jew. Because a non-Jew, once Shabbos starts, can't be mavatal as rishus. A Jew can't. Afraid to Gemara of Anan Achelo Yotzi Tanan. The Brisa is only in a case where he had not taken something out. So Tanan Ema Achelo Yotzi Ayom. That means in a Chanami. The Brisa is talking about he, he the, the Friday had gone by and he still had not used it. The boy saying, if you want low kasha, depends. Kad b'murmur l'chalo Shabbos, Shabbos is b'tzina. If a person is b'chalo Shabbos privately, but publicly he is not, so he's allowed to be mavatal rishos. Kad b'murmur l'chalo Shabbos is but if you violate Shabbos publicly, you're treated like a non-Jew, and you have no right to be mavatal your rishos, like a regular non-Jew. Kemad azla hadetanya, so who does the fine brisa go like? Mumer v'gilui pani. A person who violates one of the one of the halachas of the Torah, and he does it before hesia. Harizenam vatel rishus. So freight the gemara gilui pani mumer av. It's the same thing. Ella mumer v'gilui pani means if someone violates something publicly before hesia. Because he's treated like a non-Jew. Keman Rabbi Yehuda, that's like the sheet of Rabbi Yehuda. Ahu de nafik b'chumrasa de medusha. There was a person who walked around with a item that he was not allowed to carry in Rosh Hashanah Rabbi. Kiva the Chaz Rabbi Yehuda nesiya kasiya. But when he saw Rabbi Yehuda, he would hide it. He was embarrassed to be mechal Shabbos in front of Rav Yudah. Oh, my God, Zem, about the Rishus Rav Yudah. Such a person is treated like a full Jew, and he can be about the Rishus. He's not treated like a Nochri. Oh, Ravuna. Ezer Yisrael Mumer, 
what's considered a mummer that he's treated like a non-Jew, Zemachal Shabbos is good for his. Some way, somebody who violates Shabbos publicly, who is that like? Rabbi Meir held that if some, if we know that this guy uh, uh, goes against any law in the Torah, we view him as a Choshud for the whole Torah. So why would we say just Mechal Shabbos before Hesia? If you look at him, he called Yisrael Shabbat Torah Nami. Like he eats Chazer. I kirabonon ha'amri Choshud over Echad Lani Choshud Chol Tukku. Meaning, let's say somebody eats Chazer. So you can't trust him about Kashrut, but Shabbos, you can trust him. Ad Abi Bumer Lover is Kachavit. The rabbinians say if he violates a then 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 he's as if he violates all of the Torah. Then he's choshed to everything. Says Rashi, If you admit a Zor, it's like you're koifer in the whole Torah. This concept of we're trying to define. What is the Yisrael Mummer? It's it's regarding this halacha that normally only Jews could be Mabat and Rishis, not a non-Jew. So if you're a Mummer, you cannot. The din is if you are a Mummer of Zara or Mummer or you Chalash Abbas Farhasi, even with Rabbanon, you're like a goy, you can't be Mabat and Rishis. Now, if you violated Shabbos only privately, then you're Yisrael, you can be Mavat al-Rishos. Yisrael, Mumun, Nisham, Shabbos, Spashuk, a Yisrael who violates Torah privately, but not publicly, he's Mavat al-Rishos. He can continue to be Mavat al-Rishos. She'enam, Nisham, Shabbos, Spashuk, he violates Shabbos publicly. Ain't him a vatel rishus. He's treated like a nochli. The day Shaharmu Yisrael not to rishus for nice rishus. A Yisrael can be a vatel rishus. Take it back. Nochli achi yaskir. You have to rent it from a goy. Now, how do you be a vatel rishus? Kaitsa oimer lo rishusi knu yelacha rishusi muvu telas lacha. Cannot vein sarach l'schus by amira alone. You don't have to do a kinyan. You don't have to do a kinyan sudur. Who is the Tana that says that violating Shabbos is as Chomer of Arizor? It says, Adam ki akriv mikem, korbonis. Mikem beloi kocham. I will accept korbonis from some of you, but not all of you. Prat le mummer. A mummer, we won't accept a korban from him. Mikem. By Jews, HaKadosh Baruch Hu made a difference between Jews who are religious and Jews who are not religious. But the Loba Umos, but the base of Midrash accepted Korbanai Ola from all Goyim, whether they were good Goyim or not good Goyim, whether they kept Sheva Mitzvah or didn't. Then the Pasuk says, Mina Beimo. That we accept korbanos even from Rishoy, who who do acts like animals. We don't accept korbanos from a mummer, someone who worships of Zora or is Mishachal Shabbos. So the Gemara doesn't understand Agufa Kasha. There's internal contradiction. Amrit Mikam, the local Chem, Lahotzi Samumur. We said we reject Korbanis from Mumur. But Hodder told him a copy of Korbanis from Bosch Israel. So obviously we don't reject all Mumurim. So that's not a problem. Reisha, the Mumur Cholator Akuma. The Mumur who we don't accept Korbanis from is somebody who rejects the whole tongue. Mitzi also the Bryson says that we accept it from Poshi Israel. That's Bumur Lagar Maybe he, he eats uh, Chazer. 
he violates one law, but he's not a mono kuma. Well, if that's your understanding, aim a safer. It said, You cannot accept korbonis from a mumer menasech Now, which mumer are we talking about? Hi, mumer echidomi. E mumer l'cholator, I know ratio. You already told me the ratio that a mumer l'cholator can't accept korbonis. E l'dover echad kasher mitziyoso. A mumer to one thing, you can accept korbonis from him. So what's this last case? El lavach ikomer chutz mena mumer l'nasech u'lechal shabbos b'farhesi. We're talking about a mumer who violates of an azora or Shabbos b'farhesi. Such a person is as if he rejected the whole Torah. Alma, what is over Shabbos Kiyadori Ninu, Shmami no. So that's the halacha and the Rabbah. A mummer loved Chola Torah, he doesn't accept anything, or for Avon Azor, or for Shabbos, you don't accept Korbonis. But if he's if he does certain other Avayras, you accept Korbonis from him. Except for the kind of court that he can't accept the court for him for an Aveira that he violates. Mission. You have a Chatzar with a lot of people living there. They made an Eruv and one of the people forgot to make the Eruv. Beso Osir Malachis Velahotzi Lovelahem. His house, he cannot carry from the house and the outside. And the other people can't go into his house and carry to the outside. But the Shalahem, Mutarm Lovalem, their houses, he can go into the other people's house. We'll see because he's like a guest. If he's invited to their house, he can carry also from their house to the house. Noslo Rishusan. Let's say the other people. Revatel their rishus to this one guy, who mutter, so then he can carry from his house to the chutzpah because it's all his. They not because they're out of it. They can't even carry from his house to the chutzpah, even though it's one rishus. So we don't understand. We'll have to explain that in the Gemara. Now let's say there were two people, hayushnayim, that remain out of the eruv, that forgot to participate. And the other two, pe- the other people, the other ten people, the chutzim and vatel, the rishus to those two, so they asked in each other, oishim zel as if you have multiple people living in houses that open up to a chutzim. Sheechad noisin rishus v'noitel rishus. You can give, you can vatel rishus to one person, he can give it back. Shnayim noisin rishus, but they noitel rishus. Two people can give up, but they can't accept it back. The Gemara will explain why. Now, when does this bitul rishus take place? Mamas I noisin rishus be shabbos amri yom from erev shabbos. Who be sonim even after shabbos starts mishachashecha you can still do bitul rishus. Mishan asin rishus so somebody was mavatul rishus vahotzi, but then he violated. He's not supposed to carry from his house to the chutz, but he did. So Bain Bishoge, Bain Bemezid, it's considered that he was he gave up on his bitl rishus areza oyser de Rav Meir. Rav Yudas says only Bemezid oyser Bishoge gave him oyser. By doing it Bemezid, he gave up. We'll see Bishoge he doesn't. So the Gemara says Beso who the oyser. He said you, they, he cannot carry from his house into the chutzur and vice versa. But it sounds like But it sounds his he can use his chotzer. Hey, he don't me understand. E the bottle. If he was mavatel, his rishus to the chotzer. Why can't he use his house? Based on my oser. I mean. Why or why shouldn't they be able to use his house? He gave up his house. It's as if he's in Las Vegas. They should be able to use his house and eat the loy bottle. And if he didn't have a bottle, his share in the chutzner then chutzner my sharia. So what do you mean you're, he's he's allowed to use his chutz? Certainly he's allowed. 
Or if he did not build the bottom shoes, then he can't use the chatzra because the other people are part of it. Gamora explains what the Mishnah is talking about. The only thing he gave up his rights to is his, his rights into the chutz. He didn't give up his rights to his house. And that's doable, says the Chachan. Because Sami Rabbonon, Hamevatel Rishus Chatzera, Rishus Beis and Lobitel. For example, a person will live in a house even though he has no access to the chutz, according to the Chachan. And therefore, even though his Mavatel is Rishus Lachatzri, it doesn't necessarily automatically mean he gives us the right to his house. The diary in Shib advice below Chatzri. People will live in a house without a chutz. Vishalahan, and when he was Mavatal, the Rishus of Chatzar, the other people's houses, Mutter Lo, they of course can take things from their house to the Chatzar because it's all one thing. And he can do the same thing. The Gemara doesn't understand why can he take from the other people's houses into the Chatzar? My time. He's like a guest that they invited. And if he's invited into their house, he can use it as a guest. If the people in the Chatzar were Mavatal, their Rishus to him. So now it's as if he owns his house and the Chatzar is one Dira and nobody else is there. Umutr We say they are, they are also not allowed to carry from his house to the Chatzar. Why not? Just like we said, he can go into the other people's houses when he was with Atul Rishus and carry from those houses into the Chatzar, let the other people go into his house and carry the same way as in Orea. Enter the Gemur, Chad Gabi Chamisha, he to go visiting the other people, Hare Orea. But for five people to come as guests to his house, the Gabi Chad, Lo Avi Orea. Now, Shmami, no. If we're talking about Nosno, that he gave up, they gave up the Rishus to him. And we said his becomes permitted. Must be Mavatlin Bechoyzer Mavatlin. This was the, what we learned yesterday that it can go both ways. You can Mavatlin get it back and bottle again. And maybe this answers the question. Oh, he covered. No, more says. Nostolo Rishusani Kara. That means a separate case, not the same case. If they were Mavatal, their share of the Chatzur to him, who Mutravein Asuri. So it becomes his house and the Chatzur becomes one unit. He can go from his house to the Chatzur and they can't. Then we said if the, all of the people in the the Chatzir, Mervatel, the Rishus, to two people. So now it's like two people own the Chatzir. So again, each one Asur's on the other. Pshita says the Gemara, well, of course that's going to be Asur. Because maybe you might think one of them could be Mervatel, the Rishus, to the other guy. Maybe that's permitted. The Kivan to be in the bottom. Law of Yulei Shar Yusuf, I at the beginning when they were about to leave and have Rishus in that Chatzar. So he can't do it after the fact. Yeah. Then we said, we gave the reason said, She'echad noisin Rishus and not Shnayim. So, Hasulam Ali, what do you have to teach me that Echad is noisin Rishus? We said, E noisin Tanina. One person certainly could give up his rishus. He know until he can take it back. Tanina. The Gemara says Seifa Itzrichalei. The Chiddush is in the Seifa, where it says Shnayim Noisim Rishus, that two people can give up their rishus in the Chatzur. Hanami Pshita. Why would we not think that that's so? Now the same Aligzer Dilmasi Levatulinu. Maybe we should be Goizer, that just like they can be Mavatel to the other people, they can turn back and get it back. That they can. Okay. We're going to learn tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Ernie, oh, yeah. Ernie.